We will be going over how to use the Riso printer in this tutorial. Before you start, make sure you have selected the color that you want to use from the many colors we have available. Uh, you can use the booklet that we've created and also have your 11 by 17 inch black and white document ready so that you can scan it and turn it into a Riso print. We'll start by turning on the Riso, so turning the on button, and if it is already on, click the wake up button and that should get the Riso started. The next thing is to choose your ink. Find your ink in one of the drawers and open up the case and carefully remove the ink from the case, placing it on the concrete floor using the blue handles on the left and the right of the drum. We will now install the drum into the Riso printer. Push the release button for the drums and pull the left drum out fully and using the blue handles, carefully return this drum to the case that you just took the other drum out of and return it to the shelf. You will then put the new drum into the same slot that the old drum was in, again using the blue handles, making sure that it fits uh, perfectly in the slider before pushing it in. You will hear a click when it's all the way in and then go ahead and close the Riso front panel. Make sure you return the drum case to the correct location which is marked on the shelf before continuing. Next, open up the scanner lid and get your 11 by 17 inch black and white print and place it under the plastic grid face down. You will want to make sure that it is aligned to the left of the scanner and centered instead of put in a corner you will see the 11 markings to denote the 11 inches on the top and the bottom. You will now get some blank paper and using the button to lower the tray on the left hand side of the printer, you can then add 11 by 17 inch sheets. Press the home button, the first drum, number one, and then press the editor button to create a new master. Hit the OK twice and what will happen is everything in the scanner will be scanned. To double check to see if everything is OK, hit the plus button to zoom in and touch the screen to move around. When you're happy with the results, hit the page button and then the exit button. And finally the print button. On the top of the scanner, make sure the Make Master is highlit and then hit the start button to start. This will take a while, we've sped it up, and after about a minute you will see your first proof come out to the right of the printer. Go ahead and add the number one to the copies. Make sure print is highlit and hit start again to create your second sheet. This sheet will be the sheet you want to actually look at to make sure that it is the quality you want. The first sheet that you printed was just to get the color out of the drum and you can see that the quality of the first sheet is always going to be lower. Finish off by selecting the number of copies you want and hit the start button to make those copies. For the second color we will do what we did for the first color and replace the first drum with a different colored drum in the same manner that we did before. Remember to be careful and only use the blue handles to move the drum around. Make sure to replace the scan copy on the scanner lid face down in the same manner that you did before. Make sure that you're using the center alignment and the number 11 shows up at the bottom edge of your paper as seen. Go through the process again of hitting home button, the first drum, clicking the editor button once, the OK button twice, and then making sure what's visible on the screen is correct. Again, you can zoom in. Once you're happy, hit the exit and print button. Pressing the master making and start button will start the process and after a while you will have your first print. It is important to note the orientation of the print that came out and make sure the previous prints you have are put into the paper tray in the correct orientation. 
It is suggested that you let your prints dry at least 24 hours before printing a new color on top of them, as there will be a higher likelihood of smearing and roller marks from the printer. Thanks for watching.